Dear Asians, what I'm going to say will be very, very hard to hear. It will be very, very hard to hear because this is my manifesto. What I want to achieve in the next 10 years. What I want to say is that we are a race that has been conquered by creepy white guys who like Asian girls. The thing is that we're not doing very well for ourselves. Honestly, I'm just trying to tell you guys that one in five Asian guys are not going to get married. And also, 51% of Asian women will marry a white guy. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that in order to change the world, so what can we do about it as a species? Because we're going to be an endangered species if you guys keep doing this. But first of all, we can dress a lot better. You know? We definitely could try to up our fashion, especially looking at our clothing. Because a lot of times, right, um, you always see Asian guys, whenever I give them advice, get a haircut. That is a cheap way to change the issue. Get a fucking haircut. And guess what they say? What's wrong with my hair? I thought it was really good. I don't need a haircut. What's wrong? If you say what's wrong with your hair, right? You have to be fucking socially retarded, seriously. So first of all, the hair shows sexual market value. What I mean by that is, you can literally change the, your stereotype just by your hair. Seriously. Your hair could spike up, and there's certain products I use, specifically, okay? That helps a lot. But if you have this frizzy hair, right? Like, um, it's all over the place, right? Like most Asian people, right? What they're gonna think is that you're a fob. You're a fobby Asian guy. There's nothing wrong with being a fob. I've known plenty of fobs who've done really well in day game. I was hoping at that time I'd get more Asian students so I can transform this entire race. That way, all of you can start to steadily go up and we can turn this all around. You guys will get white girls and then everything will be very, very good. But honestly, you guys are really disappointing the whole race because we're going to be extinct soon, seriously. Think about this in 50 years when I'm dead. Everyone will be like half Asian or half white or half whatever. Seriously, everyone's going to be mixed and mostly it's going to be a white guy with a creepy Asian woman. Just like I saw on the bus today, this Asian woman, she comes and runs to the bus. Okay? And this guy, this bus driver kept complimenting her. Oh, you just have to wave your hands and then just be cute. And he just kept going on and on with validation. It's fucking creepy. But in such a way, let's just be honest here. She probably liked it because he's white. He's old, but all the couples you see these days, right? If you look at it, they're all like, most of the people, right? Are Asian women and white guys, creepy white guys. Seriously, a lot of you guys, right? You guys think, oh, I don't like Asian girls. I don't care about Asian girls. Therefore, it's okay with me if a white guy goes out with an Asian girl. Okay, that's fine. You might think to yourself, I don't care, it's fine. It's, it's kind of simple. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is actually a cold genocide. Okay, so what is a genocide? We have seen this with uh, Germans and the Jewish people. I take a Jewish martial art called Krav Maga. So I do know a lot about this culture. And I also work for a German company. So besides that, we can change our fashion, right? Because on the outside, you get judged in the first three seconds. And also, your behavior, the personality or behavior needs to be changed. The reason why we need to speak with body language, okay? It's not just hands in the pocket like you see these Asian dating coaches teaching you day game, which is not gonna lead you anywhere. That's gonna lead you into the same white privilege crap that is destroying our race in the first place, okay? That stuff is gonna kill us. What we see here in Vancouver is a Julian Blanc RSD style game. It'll never work so far. It has produced how many testimonials? Zero. Zero testimonials mean you'll get zero results and all of you are gonna quit game. You're all gonna harm yourselves. So the thing is that the most important thing besides your personality, you may have a great personality, you can move your hands and talk like this. You can move your facial expressions like this and talk like this and be very expressive. But if you don't got social calibrations or social skills, what the fuck does it matter? So yeah, I mean, the thing that's missing with the Asian community is the social skills. What I mean by that is, 
The social skills is what I taught in Wayne 30 from Hard Case to Hero. A lot of Asians don't have social skills. The reason why they don't have social skills is because they're always so good at school. They're always like practicing, always like, you know, doing all this stuff. They say if you're good at school, you get a good, what, job. And when they say you have a good job, then you make more money, you get a good house. And then when you get a good house, right, they say that you will get married and the women will fall in your lap and everything's gonna be great. But the truth is not always so simple. Your parents, a lot of them do have the warrior gene, especially Asians. 56% of the Chinese people have a warrior gene. So in, the, in their way, right, when they're bossing you around, they're not here to help you. It's the first generation of Asians. They want to survive here. So therefore, they're not thinking about thriving. They're thinking about surviving because they're trying to survive, right? And they're not thinking about you. In reality, what's happening is this is part of a plan to make sure that you live with your parents forever. And when you grow up, okay? When you grow up, you're gonna retire and you're gonna take care of them. That's no fucking life plan. That's a fucking shitty plan. If you're gonna take care of your parents forever, right? And you're not gonna have much social skills because of all this, um, all this education. A lot of people regret it. Because when they get older, and they're so good at school, right? They make good money. They got survival value. Listen, I mean, no matter how much money you make, there's three different zones, right? Lover, boyfriend, provider, and friend zone. You're always gonna end up in the friend zone or the provider, but you don't fit there because you're Asian. Does that make sense? Yeah, because you're Asian, right? You think like, oh, I'm gonna make more money. But in reality, that's just gonna get you cucked. What I mean by that is that when you get older and this Asian woman banged every single white guy and she lost her looks and she can only get an Asian guy. She's gonna marry you, okay? So you're happy. Oh, I got married with an Asian girl. She banged every fucking white guy. Tall white guy. Creepy guy with a Norwood hairline. <laughs> you know what I mean? Norwood means like, you see that a lot. These guys are not quality white guys, okay? They are not quality white guys. They're just white. They just have, it's, it's what they call hypergamy. Okay, so hypergamy suggests that people date up or they marry into a higher race than themselves. So that way, it kind of moves up their status. So for Asian women with white guys, they get a different last name now. So therefore, they got the white privilege behind it. Also, their kids are going to be half white, half Asian. Therefore, they're going to be better looking. In some ways, that's kind of like taking bad genetics from both sides and merging into something that is better. So you are being replaced. You know, a lot of people, right, they think, John Wayne, you're so fucking mean. You're so alpha, you're so dominant, and you're fucking, you know, intimidating the Asian people. In reality, it's because I care about you guys and I want you guys to succeed. Why do you think I did this job as a dating coach? Yeah, so that's the thing though. I mean, I'm trying to help you all. Why do you think I'm a dating coach? I've given up half my life. I spent 16 fucking years in this game, or more now, okay? For so many fucking years, I've given up everything I had just to learn game. So that way you guys can have a chance. I've been through fucking hell and back. Seriously, I've been through so much fucking hell. You wouldn't believe being one of the world's first day gamers, right? Back in university, there were no positive stereotypes. There were no K-pop. Jesus Christ, I mean, everyone fucking hated us. When I talked to a white girl back then, they just think like, what the fuck? They like what I'm saying. They found it very attractive in their personality. But then they think about my race and they think, oh, it's not that. I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, John just talks about race all the time, especially guys who are Latinos, blacks, or whites. And you think, oh, because he always talks about race, like it sounds racist or some shit like that. This is bullshit because we're always gonna be defined by our race because that's the first thing women see. And there's a social standing behind it. Although I don't think about this in day game, I don't have inner game issues, but it is something that's very important to talk about. So we gotta look at the pillars. First of all, we talk about the media. A lot of people are like, media this, media, media that, media this. In reality, the media is just one pillar. You know, there are girls who like K-pop. So the media can influence what a woman likes. A lot of us, we have behavior traits that are not attractive, and I totally get that. One of the things about me, right, is that I'm more alpha because we all have to fight flight or flee response. Most of the Asians, because they're so nervous, they're always thinking about fleeing because their parents are so fucking tough on them. You really, really cannot 
use the flea response or the nervousness because when you're nervous around a girl right and she detects that she detects you as being lower value and you put her on a pedestal especially when you up talk like this girls don't like that it's a pussy dryer your behaviors right in the next 50 years are going to determine whether or not we survive as a species or we're going to be replaced i don't give a fuck because it, for me personally because i am a dating coach i'm always going to survive i'm pretty sure in the future oh you know get some super tall supermodel looking younger ukrainian or russian model fucking pregnant and i just fucking skip on her <laughs> so i'm fine with that but you you guys are not going to make it some of you are not going to make it it's your fucking fault so what can you do is to learn a style of game that works for you direct game is going to kill you with direct game there is almost no chance of success because you might think looks don't matter race don't matter is an inner game issue in reality what's happening is it does fucking matter everything matters are you fucking serious like are you retarded or something where the fuck do you think that looks don't matter because some fucking PO you say it for marketing purposes are you fucking insane okay the sad thing is that in Vancouver for the last three three and a half years and we have um, fucking shitty dating coaches all doing direct game do you think it matters? Of course it matters because they got no fucking testimonials or students polling or getting late. Of course it fucking matters. And that's why I decided to use this style because this style, this indirect as people call it, I don't think it's indirect, it's situational, but because of this style, it makes it easier for people to really get it because they can slip under the radar and not get all rejected. Since they don't get all rejected, right? They can start to slowly set the frame over and over spice it up to build attraction and then connect and then start to escalate on the insta date i'll be honest with you okay number clothes will never ever work in a million years for our negative stereotypes you might get a girl who's um eventually maybe one in 20 or one in 50 or maybe for two years got no results no fucking results so what the fuck are you doing are you insane you know what they say the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over and over and over and over and expecting different results it will never work and this is what's going to destroy our race direct game is going to hurt all of our people because imagine this way okay so if you go direct right and you start giving a compliment what's going to happen is okay you're giving away validation all that stuff and you think you're being natural you're being congruent you're being you know you're giving value in reality you're like a fucking homeless person right giving a fucking compliment okay just to be honest with you like a fucking homeless person giving a compliment without any fucking value what do you think is gonna happen you know a lot of these dating coaches right i'm not gonna lie to you they're t fucking taller than me i'm five seven okay this is the best as it gets What I'm saying is that some skills, when they say, you know, give her a compliment, I get results, therefore you get results. Are there other factors that's helping them? Let's be honest with ourselves here. Of course there are fucking factors. These are called privileges. Privileges are something a race has, the other races do not share. That's the problem with the Asian community, because you like to worship, because you're a fucking sheep sometimes, you like to worship other dating coaches. You don't care about getting the results for yourself, even though I could teach you to do that. That's what's going to kill our race. We're going to decline because you believe in the marketing hype. For me, I don't talk about marketing bullshit. It's all field tested. If it's all field tested, and I got the most testimonials in the world. It's not even enough to make you listen to me because you always want to worship the very big, tall, strong POAs because you feel like he can get the results you're looking for. You have this hero worship. This bullshit hero worship because you don't want to do it through yourself like because you want to live vicariously through other people you just want to be fans who gives a fuck if he says oh look at my results i'm the best at this i'm the best so therefore i could teach it even if they have the best results in the world right let's just say that can they teach you the results can you get the same results can anyone get the same results have you ever noticed some dating coaches actually um no matter how good they say they are how amazing their results are they have no fucking testimonials of students pulling and getting laid. You gotta think to yourself, what the fuck is going on? Is there a privilege? They'll say, oh, the girls are not initially into my race or some irrelevant bullshit or, you know, I'm not her type. Reality, because they're so tall and strong and bulky and they just happen to be so pre-selected and so 
much protector status, right? They're so fucking privileged, right? The girls are just scared in the beginning. That's it. In the very beginning stages, they were scared. Later on, they're just fucking drenched down there. They're so, so drenched, right? You can nearly slip in their juices. And trust me, I've taught a lot of students of every race, every single authenticity in boot camps. So basically what I'm trying to say is that, um, can I save this Asian race in the next 10 years from these fucking, you know, white people? that dominate every single culture they've dominated first what what did they dominate first of all they dominate the jewish people right you know germany's germans and the second thing they dominate was the native indians okay the third one they dominate were um, black people like slaves we are the brand new one on the chopping block the asians the asian men are the newest ones and the asian women love it so this is an evolution to them they always think their family is going to be better off. But you got to think about the kids in the family. What's going to happen is the daughter is going to marry, what, a white guy. And the son, right, he's going to turn into Elliot Rogers. Okay? Seriously, he's going to hate his fucking parents for his mother being like a white worshipping person. And I'm not trying to be racist here, but this is just how it is. So my solution is train with me. I know that sounds like a commercial or marketing. It's not. I have a mission, and this is why I'm here. Okay? No matter what, I will complete this mission. Next 10 years, I want every Asian, because we can't change the world by ourselves, you know? Just by me speaking about this topic is not gonna change anything. Honestly, you have to help yourselves first before you can help others. What I mean by that is that, I'm gonna lay out all these concepts, even when I'm dead in 50 years or whatever, okay? All of you in the next generation will fight back. This generation might be gone, I don't know. Is it worth fighting for? And the answer is yes, absolutely. Your ideals are worth fighting for. It is worth fighting for. And the thing is that everything I'm doing is to help you guys. It's not because I'm trying to be mean. It's not like I'm trying to be Gordon Ramsay. No, because I know this discipline and this adaptation is going to save my people. Okay, my people. I'm a little bit closer. The thing about I'm saving my people is that I don't know any other way. No one else is stepping up. POAs are just fucking pussies. And Asians, Asians are not doing anything to help us. They're just bulking up, taking steroids or some fucking growth hormones. And they're just getting taller and that's not transferable. That's not even game. It's not always the strongest species that survive or the fastest. It is the most adaptable. So far, we have not been adaptable. And let me just say, the Jewish people, right? There's been a lot of them that has been genocided, okay? Just to be honest with you, they have. But in reality, the smart ones left the fucking country. You know what I mean? They fucking packed up and left. They, they saw it. They're called intuitives. Those are my students. My students are all fucking intuitive people. They see the fucking matrix for what it is. And they see the brainwashing, the cult belief, the RSD. The most toxic fucking company in the whole fucking world. The Asians are very susceptible to their marketing. We all know it's a fucking cult, okay? It's, it's a fucking cult. It's not beat around the bush. It's like a Scientology fucking cult. Self-development fucking bullshit cult. You'll never get any results. Night game, sure. But day game, absolutely not because it requires social intelligence. How you know if a dating coach is really going to help you is to look at their facial expressions. If you look at bigger guys who are privileged, right? But their face does not move, right? You don't see any sort of facial expressions and they're just... Yeah, they're just putting hands in their pocket like this and their feet's pointing this direction. It means that their value is vibing to the girl. It's not so much so like it's not so much about the game. It's more about the value of their natural status. So I just want to say to the future generation of Asians, maybe in ten years I'll be the most prominent figure in the whole industry to helping Asian guys in day game. We can't always do it through night game. Because with night game, right, is that um we're always hiding in nightclubs, in bars and stuff like that, right? Is that gonna help your social skills? Let me ask you a question. Will the nightclub and bar help your social skills? Well, the truth is that um, people who got really high lay counts, okay? They got higher lay counts, a lot of it's from night game. You gotta wonder why, because there's no sort of social skills behind it. There's no social intelligence. That's why they can't do day game they get more lazy during night game. But in reality, if they can do a day game, they have no idea what to do. Just get number closes and shit like that. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, like, um, night game is not the answer. You might even try online dating. It's not very favorable, favorable to Asians. In terms of stats, right? 
Asian guys and black women have the least response rate on Tinder and on OkCupid and other things. I hope you all get this message that I really, really fucking do care about my race. And I'm trying to, everything I'm doing, every product, everything I'm doing, I'm putting out there the blueprint to turning this around. But if you guys don't want to turn around, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the fucking problem. John Wayne out.